Hey everybody! Hello, hello, hello! Hola, hola, hola! Hello everyone, welcome. We're gonna let a few people go come on in. We're gonna get started here very shortly, you guys. I'm just kind of checking everything. As we go, hey, Miss Tawanda, hello, I sat. Hello, Reina, hey, honey. Hello, Lucky, oh, hi, sweetie. Happy belated birthday. Okay, guys, you know, tonight is uh, Wins Wisdom Wednesday. And on Wisdom Wednesday, I know my background looks a little strange, guys, so just, um, we'll live with it for a minute, okay? Um. On Wisdom Wednesday, I always get into this teaching. Hey, Alpha Aries, how are you, love? I get into the teaching. So, but I want to make a couple of announcements. So, this week, Wisdom Wednesday is right here. Next week, Wisdom Wednesday. Hey, Ashley. Hi, honey. Next week, Wisdom Wednesday will be on Patreon. Okay, an exclusive for my Patreon patrons. So... Go to patreon.com, look up Heart of Inspiration, sign up for $5 a month, $10 a month, whatever, but you'll get uh, two of these at least together a month. I'm working with the Tarot Lounge. Hello, hello. Hello, Deanna. Hello, Sagfire. Hello, Star Star. Um, I'm working with the Tarot Lounge with Armand, and uh, we're going to be doing some tarot after dark, you know, all kinds of stuff. So um, it's going to be really special. All right. So go to patreon.com and look up Heart of Inspiration. And because next week, Wednesday, Wednesday Wisdom will be on Patreon. All right. All right. Let's get into this. I've let enough peoples come in. Thank you, love. Uh, you know, we're doing new things here. Thank you, Miss Deanna. Uh, I'm getting steady getting toys. You know, when you guys donate to the channel, the tips and all of that, right? I put that back into the channel. So I've got a new computer now that's a better processor. I'm getting a new camera. We're doing all these things um, to make the experience better for you. So don't think that his money is going anywhere else. I have a nine to five, you know. So we're doing this for a better experience. Hey, SR. All right, everybody, let's go on and get into some things, as Armand says. So we're coming up with a new moon on July 31st, a week from today. Uh, it is in Leo. Happy birthday to my Leos, by the way. Hey, sassy rare breed. Um, it it uh, is a week from today. It is a Leo new moon. July was a very rather significant lunar month because we had three three moons, so to speak, major moon cycles. We had the new moon at the beginning of the month on the second, I believe it was. We had the full moon on the 16th, and now we've got the new moon again on the 31st. Um, Very, very significant. July has been a one of big activity, and it has been one of planting seeds for manifestation. So we're in this six month time period, you guys, where it starts off here, right? It started off in the beginning of July. Remember, July we're in, we're coming out of now at this point, but we were in a Cancer Capricornian axis. Cancer North Node, Capricorn South Node. Cancer, right, is the fourth house all about home, family, roots, self-care, emotions, foundations, foundations, mother, children, women, and femininity. So our divine feminine was becoming, if you will, impregnated, if you will, with the promise, with the purpose, with the life purpose moving forward. Divine feminine energy. Capricorn being the opposing sign in the 10th house is about career, long-term goals, structure, status, reputation, public image, masculinity, men, fathers, experts, and fame. Now, 
I'm going to get it more into this axis next week. You won't want to miss it. Go to Patreon. Become a patron. You won't want to miss it. Because I'm going to talk in depth about this manifestation axis we're in in this time. So here we're coming into Leo. Now, Leo season is what? All about being extremely expressive right? Leo is big. Leo wants to be seen. Leo wants to be heard. Leo is also about having fun, right? Playfulness, all of that wonderful thing. What people don't necessarily realize, Leo is the fifth house. Romance, love, uh, play, creativity, fertility. Now we just came off of Divine feminine energy, fertility, childlike spirit, joy, self-expression, and can be rather dramatic at times. Th why is this important? Why is this important, this new moon? We just came from a time we have to plant. I told you all, we were planting seeds. Remember, we did the whole uh, manifestation uh, meditation, all of these things. Why? We were planting seeds. Uh, in our divine feminine energy. So now it's time for those seeds to become fertile. And now it's time for those seeds to get the water, the sun. We put enough water on it last month. The soil is wet. Cancer season, if nothing else, is watery. Full of emotion, right? Full of emotion. So the water, there's plenty of water. But also then, the, what does a seedling need? What does that seed need to become a seedling where we get some sprouting? It needs some sun. It needs this big energy, right? The big energy of the sun so it can germinate and start to grow. Now, y'all didn't think y'all was getting, uh, <laughs> y'all didn't think y'all was getting an agricultural lesson today. And I'll tell you the, at the most that I know about it. All right. So this, this, now we're having this big sun, right? We're adding some masculine energy to it. We're making it fertile, okay? So here are some aspects I want us to watch out for coming into this next week. Some things that we need to really pay attention to. This new moon is conjunct, meaning it's in the same house with, in the same space, sharing the same space with Venus, and the sun, right? That's what a new moon is. So now you have your emotions. You got love. You also have money. Okay. Oh, that was really good. Thank you, Lord. I just got a download about something. Today is also very special day. I'm just going to put this separate and just leave it here. Today is my father's birthday. And, you know, he's been gone for 10 years now. And I got some interesting news today. Some news that you know, about the house and about the mortgage. And it rocked a little bit. It rocked me just a little. Then I talked to my good friend Shonda. And I talked to Armand a little bit. And now just this here lets me know this is all going to work out by the 31st. So listen. Venus is all about your love life. Venus is also about your moon. About your money. Okay, love and money. Now, you know, you got to have a J-O-B in order to be with me. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. You know, we got a whole, you know, uh, no, I don't want no scrubs. I mean, we could go on and on and on and on. However, so the, the sun, the moon, and Venus are all going to be playing on the same playground here. So it's shining the light on your love life, on finances, on creativity. This is also a great time to have fun. Please try to schedule some time for these days that the new moon is in full cycle to have fun. Remember to have a good time. Okay? Remember to take some time out for yourself. If Whether you're in a relationship or you're not, love on yourself. Okay, can you love on yourself a little bit and have some good times? Okay, however, we're probably going to feel pretty emotional. 
and we're probably going to feel pretty sensitive. So just know that about yourself as well. Okay? It's going to be all right. This too shall pass. So if you're a little more on the sensitive side during this time period, this is why. Um, uh, so while you're feeling really good about stuff, uh, and be rather expressive about your emotions, how you're feeling about things, like maybe finally telling somebody how you truly feel because we're going to get into some more aspects. Understand, uh, and you're probably going to feel a little looser with the funds. Uh, please don't try, please try not to overspend. We're still in this six month cycle. Remember, this is about foundations as well. Like we're building upon the foundation we built last month. So while it's better to sign those contracts, uh, still try not to spend too much money on infrastructure, if you will. Okay. Be judicious with the money that is being spent. Okay. Um, the moon is going to be square Uranus. Unexpected changes. Listen how I'm taking that. That's why I was talking about this. You may find yourself all of a sudden, hey, Miss Suri. Now, I know there ain't 18 people in y'all show y'all face. I know there's 19 people watching, so y'all show y'all face. I know I got some lurkers out there. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Um, anyway. So you have no job. You that mean love. I dated guys who had no job until they got one. It was about the person. Oh, no, honey, Nita, don't take that so personally, baby. That's just that was a popular song when I was coming up. That was a popular song. I think it was in the nineties, right? Ain't nothing going on. Okay. That, I think that was in the nineties. Hey, Rio. At any rate, it's all right. No, Nita, that's not what I'm saying, honey. I'll explain that on another night. <laughs> okay. Uranus being square the new, uh, uh, yeah, squaring the new moon, which means it's also squaring Venus, which means it's also squaring Leo because all three of those planets are conjunct. So that can mean some sudden, like you might have a sudden outburst somewhere. Like, you like, where in the world did that come from? But that was really how you were feeling. Or you might have a sudden, or your your uh, significant other may have a sudden outburst. Or someone you're working with, or anything like that, right? There could be some suddenlies happening. You could be, because now, if you're willing to express yourself, you have to remember, you're going to have to receive that said expression. Okay? So, don't be surprised if there's also sudden changes. If you're really just like, Leo is big, right? And it is very illuminating. Its ruling planet is the sun. It illuminates. Where we might have thought that you was on some ish. We might have thought you was on some ish last month. But now this month, we are gonna see you on some ish. Okay? Because you're... Your behavior is going to express itself even if your mouth doesn't. And, or you may say something or someone else may say something to you that you're like, oh, I didn't know you really felt like that. Okay, so just look out for that. Um, you're also probably going to be a little impulsive. You might want to make some sudden changes. Okay. Um... Be proactive about positive change. Be open-minded and flexible, okay? Uh, for some of my earth signs, this uh, season of change is a little bit more difficult for you, I know. Just broaden your mind a little bit. Free your mind, right? The rest will follow. Um, Alpha, Aries. It was 24 to 72 hours. Okay. I will try. I did have some personal things come up today. All right. So we will try. I will email you about that. Okay. Venus squaring Uranus. Uh, it can be, bring a need for freedom. Maybe you're ready to break up. Maybe. Possibly. 
you might be, you know, thinking, oh, right? Um, you might feel like, you know, you want to be a rolling stone a little bit, but, or, you know, on the positive side, you just might want to kind of up and take a trip. You might want to up and go do something that you've never done before, something romantic or something, whatever, you know, just go do something, enjoy something. Um, you know, if, especially if you, um, if you've been feeling bored or super confined or all of that stuff, okay, um, that might be the case as well, all right? You might be like, you know, I'm super bored here. I just got to break out and do something, right? Um, if you're having a good relationship, though, you shouldn't really see a lot of drama in your relationships um, in that regard. Um I talked about investing and spending money. Now, let me talk about some other things that I really want to discuss with, because there's not a whole lot of major aspects going on here in all actuality on that day. Um, really, the major ones are the fact that the sun, the moon, and Venus are all conjunct in Leo. And they're going to be at... Um, well, they're going to be a little earlier into Leo. The sun definitely is early into Leo. The moon's early into Leo. Venus is pretty far into Leo at this point. It's been moving in Leo for a little bit now. Um, we also do, though, have... We've got some nice trines happening here. Um, or some sextiles, I should say. We still do have the Neptune and... Saturn sextile still going on. So that theme is going to be this way, guys, for a while. And they're both still retrograde for a little bit. Oh, by the way, Mercury will be coming direct. It'll be stationed um, in Cancer, okay, by the 31st and then come direct and come back towards Leo. So that's going to bring much easier communication, kinder, gentler, it all goes away right around that 31st, right? So we're in a better, much better place, all right? Um, so we still have the Saturn and the Neptunian sextile. We still have that going on. So there is still this opportunity to uh, get deeper into the things of spirituality. There's still this opportunity. The veil is still very thin. There's still this opportunity to then move materially towards uh, having material gain or making money, and not in a bad way, again, from your spiritual endeavors or from being spirit-led. So we are going to continue from here at least until January. You're going to notice that all of your spiritual abilities, gifts are going to magnify if you're willing to do so. Um, they're also going to uh, intensify and you'll find more and more of your spiritual gifts being added as we go forward. So the biggest themes for this for this time period really in all actuality is really try not to be overly impulsive. Um, remember this new moon is the end the fully the end of one cycle and fully the beginning of the next. So we are coming out of this fully of the cycle of planting right and discovering. Now you might still be in it. You might still be discovering what your purpose and who you are is. However, as we're coming out of that, now this comes into a time where it's time for us to put some warmth, some heat, some light to it. Let's start to see it grow. And over the next six months, we'll begin to not only get harvest from it, but by the time we finish this six month cycle, we should be securely in our place that we were meant to be in or so darn close we don't know the difference okay by by a few months from now by january of 2020 when that's a whole new resetting of a cycle okay that's a setting of the cycle it reset if you add 20 and 20 together and bring it all the way down it adds to four four is life purpose right? 
We are preparing to walk in our purpose. No, TJ, let's not water. Let's not, let, we need to turn the water off a little bit. We need to turn the water off just a tad bit, okay? It's time for the sun to come in. We might get a little emotional, but it's time for the sun to come in, okay? Here comes the sun, right? That's what we're doing, okay? So, uh, and Mercury Retrograde, it's waning, guys. I mean, I know it's still here, but it's waning. Uh, I'm, I, You know, honestly, there's just not a lot of major aspects um just notice that you might find yourself a little bit more impulsive perhaps a little bit more rebellious or you know what i'm saying maybe a little more aggressive but it's fire energy right so that's to be expected so just understand that about yourself and really and 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 be patient with yourself and others okay now that concludes the, i mean again oh the other thing i wanted to add so as far as manifestation is concerned, the why I call this a manifestation moon is this, because when we add that divine masculine energy, right, it takes a divine feminine and a divine masculine to create life. It takes divine feminine and divine masculine to create anything. So when we put the masculine energy of Leo with what we've just come out of the divine feminine of Cancer, now is the time all those things you wrote down when we did that manifestation meditation, right? And anything new that's come along, now it's time to really get the speaking into high gear because your faith is going to be tried. And I'm raising my hand right now because my vibrational frequencies have been tried today. They've been tried. But you know what I have to do? I have to keep speaking. And I have to keep speaking. I have to keep speaking. What happened with Rio? Oh, yay. Awesome. You're going to be graduating in January. Yes. Um, we have to keep speaking it. And why do we need to keep speaking it? Because we need to renew our mind with the washing of the word. With the washing of your word you have to keep speaking it so your ears keep hearing it so you reprogram your mind as you're speaking it your faith builds so keep talking so now is the time to be real big about it right be big about it be like this is who i am this is who i am this is what i'm doing this is what i'm manifesting so it's time to really activate you know the sun on a seed that's been put in the ground and watered properly activates the germination sequence of that seed the dna of that seed gets activated when the sun beats down on it and gives it some warmth and gives it some energy because the sun gives us life energy masculine hot right insistent energy it gives that to us and when we get that in there, then that's when it, the germination activation happens and creation comes about. When divine masculine and divine feminine come together, creation happens. Yes? As it is above, so it is below. So, this is a time for you to get aggressive about what you're speaking. This is a time for you to get aggressive about what you're manifesting. This is a time for you to fight the good fight. This is a time for you to war for it. Don't just let it sit by the wayside. This is a time for you to love on it. This is a time for you to enjoy it. This is a time for you to accept it fully. This is a time for you to speak it into existence and you speak it first into existence in your mind and you speak it so much that it drops down into your heart and there and there is no choice but there is no choice as long as your words are in alignment with what your spirit and supreme creator have already determined there is no choice but it to come to pass okay all right. Um, 
I'm going to be wrapping this up here. Good. We're at 25 minutes. All right. We did good tonight, y'all. So listen, um, I'll be putting this up. Tarot class is actually the, I reopened tarot class again. The first interactive class is this week, Saturday, 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. You can still put tarot, class, tarot 50 in if you wish to pay for it all in one fell swoop. It's normally two, well, it's normally $3.97. I'm offering it this time for $2.97. You'll get another $50 off. So if you pay in full, you can get it for $2.47 just by putting the discount code tarot 50 in there if you need a payment plan um it would be the full 297 you could put 97 dollars down using tarot class also please do go to patreon um next week wisdom wednesday will be live on patreon not here okay live on patreon five dollars a month you guys probably i waste five dollars in your sleep right so one starbucks okay um a month um and then you'll have access to the uh monthlies that i'm about to put up on patreon over the next few days um you'll have access to two lives and then we're gonna do a lot of fun and interesting things over there there's levels that anybody can uh afford okay so come on over there because I'm going to be starting to put content over there. Like next week, we are really going to get into a depth of this divine feminine, divine masculine and how we really utilize it. And that's going to be a very important day. Most likely all my patrons on that day. Hey, Lisa, my patrons on that day, we're going to do a bonus meditation as well for manifestation we'll do one on monday but we're going to do a bonus one on wednesday just for my patrons and live together and we're also going to get really deep into this divine masculine divine feminine and how they work and how this plays into manifestation these are the things i wish to talk about i'm not going to talk about that oh no open airwaves all right so you know go out to patreon.com heart of inspiration and figure all this out. Anybody that I have readings for, Sassy, let's just you and I talk, okay, love? Um, let's you and I talk separately, okay, baby? Um, anyone that I have readings for, to do, um, if you've not already sent me your questions, please do send me your questions. I will email you and let you know as soon as you're gonna be getting them, um, You'll get them within 24 to 72 hours. All right. That's when you get the link. All right. Do we have any other questions? Do we have any questions here that I need to address before we sign off? I want to be sure that we are, that we are, um, Right. Well, TJ, that was uh, that was during the free reading time. Okay, I'm talking about the Patreon patrons. When you join for ten dollars a month, you get all of the exclusive lives. Plus, you get um, a reading, either a couple of questions, two qu two or three questions, and a general. Um, and also, at ten dollars, you get ten percent off of anything on my website. Any classes, any services, anything for $10 a month. $30 a month gets you 30 minutes, either a reading or Reiki. It gets you everything we talked about with the exclusive lives. It gets you 20% off of anything on my website. And plus uh, my $30 and $60 folks. So my $60 folks are going to also really get um, something very, very special um as well um you know they're going to get some really intensive uh stuff so a 60 dollar folks will get 25 percent off so guys i mean there is a lot there is a lot going on and anyone that joins from now to the 31st anyone that becomes a patron you can for 15 dollars get a triple reading it'll be a regular reading a regular just general reading. It'll also be a 
uh, love reading. And then I'm also going to be doing with these new Zodiac Oracle cards, I'm going to be doing a Zodiac reading for you for the month. All 12 houses, what to expect. You'll get that for $15 when you join up. Okay, from now to the 31st, that's my initial thing. So, I mean, honestly, three readings for $15, it's crazy. All right. Okay, guys. Um, and Suri, I probably need to chat with you as well. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Yeah, get your pentacles together, baby. Get them pentacles together. Because y'all are not going to want to miss these things. Y'all are not going to want to miss them. Uh, we're going to get into some deep stuff. So if you really want to get, if you really want, if you're serious about your spiritual growth, you'll come on and meet me over there. There you go, sir. Exactly that. Thank you, love. All right, y'all. I'm going to be up out here. Uh, I may or may not see y'all tomorrow night. I'm going to try. Uh, but I've definitely, most definitely, will see you all on Friday. Hopefully, by that point, I'm going to have a call-in number on this channel. And I think Armand and I are going to go and do a, another simulcast. So you won't want to miss it because I'm going to have a call-in number because I'm tired of the lag. Okay, y'all going to have to call in. Y'all will be all right. If I'm not putting your face up, just your voice. Okay. All right, guys, I don't see any questions in here. So I'm going to get rolling. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.